coming up on this episode. Who the best bowler on the team is, and that's an obvious answer, it's me. We've been fighting, just trying to figure it out. Franchise record, 82 points in the first half. It's all about giving back for me. One of the reasons why we go out here and do what we do. Come in and watch film. What was the game plan? And what are the things we're going to look to change and maybe adjust to? It's their growth, man. It's their growth. Having a great time here at Bulls Bowling event. Um, you know, we missed it a couple years ago because of COVID, and now we're all back, so it's good to be around some of the fans, some of the friends, and some of the family as well, and, you know, putting on a good event. And for me, not throwing any gutter balls. This is Kobe White, and I think AC is the best bowler in the team. AC is a... Uh... A sneaky one that's pretty good. I gotta watch out for him. Regardless of what everybody says, I'm the best bowler here. I do what I do. I was asked a question of who the best bowler on the team is, and that's an obvious answer. It's me, Alex, myself. <laughs> I'll probably have to say myself. Me, of course, I'm the best bowler on the team. I'm not very satisfied with what I'm seeing. I see a lot of guys not picking my name. I get it, I'm new here. The best bowler in here is obviously me. The worst bowler on the team is by far, I mean, not even close. It's like him at the bottom and then everybody else. Dalen, for sure. Dalen Terry's got to be the worst ever of all time. Dalen, the worst, the worst on the team. Dalen Terry, god awful. <laughs> That wasn't for me. That wasn't for me either. He has no form. I think the bowling balls is too heavy for him. They all keep saying I'm the worst, but when we do this player one, watch how it turn out. Be locked in. For worst bowler. Say me, I dare you. Worst say bowler. Me, say me, I dare you. I didn't say you, uh, but I'm gonna say Dalen now because he like. What are you talking about? Dalen is the worst bowler on the team. The 2022 Chicago Bulls Bowling Party Championship. Obviously, we, we definitely feel the support whenever we play at home. Um, even on the road, we always feel the support. So I think it's just important for us to just come out and just kind of say thank you. Come get your trophy. I give DeMar and Zach a lot of credit because they struggled to shoot the ball at the level that they normally are used to or accustomed to shooting the basketball. And they stayed in the game, you know, as competitors. Going into fourth, to me, um, I always stress the same thing to Zach. It's like a new slate. You know, you can't worry about the misses beforehand. Levine takes a three. Oh, give me the hot sauce, Zach Levine. I think we all just did our job. There's a lot of things that we could have did better in the game, especially the first three quarters but we all came through at the end. I liked tonight the spirit of the team and the way we were trying to battle. It was one of those games that was very easy to get frustrated, and I think our guys just kept playing and kept focusing. Back-to-back oh, -back checks. We're tied at 96. Eight ties, seven lead changes in this game. Levine over Kuzma. Oh, Jagaris. He is taking over this ball game in Chicago. Ooh, sacks on fire. It felt good from the get-go. I had a lot of in and outs. First three quarters, I had a lot of shots. I was running back on defense, so I thought it was in the hoop. But it felt good from shooting around today. You know, I guess it evened out. <laughs> it's going to be games where, you know, other guys come up big for us and, you know, take, take the weight off us, you know, um, having to score the ball. You know, so it's going to vary. Why not, Boots, for three? Yes! Wow, give me the hot sauce. Get out the umbrellas, Bill. It's raining threes here in Chicago. Suddenly nobody can miss, and we got a one-point game. Vooch, I thought, really played a great game tonight, but really from start to finish. I just hit a couple threes, but he, I think he had a better mismatch. You know, for him to repost, you know, all of us trust each other. He got fouled, too, so. 
It was just a big time play. I like the way those guys are playing. They're unselfish. They're, they'll, they'll play the right way. They'll read the game. I thought we had good balance coming down the stretch. I thought they all complimented each other pretty well. Brooks Morris. Oh, give me that. Oh, give me that. No soup for you. Access denied. Two big plays. The block by Boots. And DeMar scoring that bucket right there. It's a one possession game now. Lock in, Bulls. The big three. 26 of the 28 points by the big three. He's feeling a 13 footer. Got it. Count it. Foul. And the king of the fourth quarter has reared his head again. We, we've been fighting, just trying to figure it out. Then come back home on our home floor, feel that energy that we that we needed um, to pull out the game. What's it going to take for your mind, Zach, for this team to get hot right now? Keep doing what we just did. You know, I had the confidence. So I said earlier to KC, you know, we just take it one game at a time instead of looking forward and be, you know, I say we got to win this many games. We got to do this this week. You know, win each, you know, win each day. And I think that's, I think that'll be the, the goal. Williams moves it. Levine points it. Rocks out. Hey, one of, one of the better catch and shoot guys in the NBA. Great first five minutes for the Bulls. Rejects the screen behind the back for Booch. Yes, sir! And now the Bulls are putting on a clinic. I thought we got off to a really good start. I thought we played really well on both ends. I thought we tried to move the ball. I thought we generated good shots. I thought we found the open man. I thought the floor was spaced well. Something's clicked right now. You can just tell they got a nice bounce to their step. DeRozan to the rim. Booch and DeMar and Zach demand a lot of attention, and it certainly gets other guys involved. Rocket. Oh, reverse the Oh, big from it. Oh, that's a poster. Oh, meet me at the rim and don't be late. I think a lot of guys shot the ball well today. I think guys with the ball made the right decision. Dre gets those three dunks in a row. Those are um, energy plays that the other team do doesn't want us to make. Um, we got guys like Zach and DeMar and Get a lot of closeouts where this shot fake can go or catch and shoot. So just kind of trying to be more poised in those situations just to make the right decision. That is a career high in three pointers made for Patrick Williams. Wow. Woo. Franchise record 82 points in the first half for the Bulls. Back to back dubs for the Bulls. We can drive home safe in Chicago. Big win for the Bulls. Beep, beep. I love being a part of community. Um, it's all about giving back for me. It's one of the reasons why we go out here and, and do what we do. What up with everybody, man? Be able to inspire the, the youth and, you know, pass it on to the next generation and be able to see their smiles and just give them a couple hours. You don't know who Jordan is? No. Come on, man. You know who plays on the Chicago Bulls? You know exactly what it is? That's me. You know, even just a couple tips, help them out with anything they need. It means a lot to me. It's always great to connect with the community in a special way outside of just playing basketball games. You know, they, they do a lot to support us, give us great energy. It's a little sweet and a little more special when you go out to them in their environment um, and get to connect there. Anytime you can give back or, you know, help somebody out, it, it always turns out to be a, a, a great story and a, just a, a great feeling. We're trying to find a lucky person or family to bless them with these $100 gift cards. Would you like to take a $100 gift card for this store or would you like to bless somebody else with 500? I asked her if she wanted to have $100 of a gift card for this store and she said no, she wants to give somebody $500. So we picked you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank her, she did it. Make it a group hug. Come on, bring it in guys, bring it in. Oh, I love this. Um, it feels great. Um, honestly, this is my first time uh, me doing some stuff like this, so I just know the feeling. And I know when I was a kid, I didn't have nothing like this, so I just hope these kids are grateful and we can do this again next year. Just seeing these kids smile um, when I was ringing them up after, just seeing like how happy they were for me to give them the bag directly, and just how I walked in and they all just, all their eyes lit up, so. Thank you, David. Giving back to the community is everything. It's where kids get their imagination from, uh, their inspiration from, and to be able to be someone that can give back and give them 
any type of light to lean towards is, is everything. When I see any, any type of hope of anybody giving back, um, it went a long way for me. You're right, it's the NBA. Everybody can make them at some point, and the Knicks have made them. Now the Bulls need a stop, 45 seconds left. And they're gonna run the same play, Randall and Brunson. Those are the two guys. Randall, three run to the rim, block! Oh, the ball! Here comes DeRozan, to tie it! Get oh, it! let me get some butter with that roll. How about the block by Patrick Williams? The ball, huge block. And DeMar DeRozan has tied this game for the 10th time. Our guys really, really competed and got back in the game. Obviously, they got off to a hot start. I think we may be down by eight or nine at the half, and then we had a really good third quarter. Yeah, but they ice it again. I'm just back up. Here we go. He sees it. He's looking for the win. It's Randall. Julius Randall. For the win. Up to overtime. We go. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Let me also take this back. Remember, there was a .7 difference shot in game clock as well. So I think that's what the officials are going to discuss quickly. Yes. And now they might add that .7 back. That's enough time to get a shot off to try to win it for the Bulls. Yes. Caruso to inbound. Love for Williams! Overtime unless there's a foul. There is not. And regulation closes with oh, a 117 was. up tie. Wanted to give Alex a couple options, just what to look for. You know, the first thing was Patrick. Yeah, I thought it was a good pass. Uh, I thought he went up. Um, a lot of contact with it, but you know, that's into the game. Usually, you know, plays get, get played out. Here's the Rosen, spins into the Back-to-back 30-point -back efforts for the Rosen. Randall in traffic. about three seconds? It's Grimes! Oh, he got the ball! I really believe we're fighting and competing. I just think there's there's detailed things that we've got to get better at because some of those things are just just adding up. Brunson lost to Russo and hits the ball. That might be the dagger. Jalen Brunson with a 30-point night may have just iced it for the Knicks. The first of two over the next few nights. These two teams will see a lot of each other over the next week. This is a playoff type of two-game stretch. You know what I mean? We play the same team. and um, They're going to make adjustments. We're going to make adjustments. So I think... Uh, Friday, it's a, it's, a, it's a new fight. We missed some opportunities to move the ball. I mean, we had 25 assists, but I think we could have done a better job generating some better looks. Coach mentioned it after the game, but you guys competed off last night. It's the details, discipline, the thing that got us beat. So really lock into the stuff. If you have questions, ask. Talk to each other if you need to. If he is at a position and that ball comes to DeMar and he's taking this end away, right away, I think there's things that your team can learn from playing an opponent basically over a three-day period. You know, what you have to do better, what you learned, adjustments, changes, things you've got to do a little bit differently. You know, you're fortunate enough to get to the playoffs. This is the same format. Zach, let's put you in the left corner. If you look at the trend of the NBA, you know, over year after year after year, one is you saw a high volume of three-point shots go up. But now you're seeing a lot more possessions. And the physical toll that the players go through you know, on a yearly basis is pretty remarkable. You've got load management right now. You've got maybe situations where guys are not available. I think the league has said, okay, you know, how can we best help the players physically? So there's gonna be some of these situations where you're gonna play a team twice in a row. Active hands, guys fight like hell to get back in front. You guys made a hell of a read on that. You're playing a familiar opponent, so you know what you're gonna first and foremost do is meet with the medical staff to find out where guys' loads were you know, how they're feeling physically. You come in and watch film, you're generally going through the tape, what was the game plan, what were things we did well, didn't do well, and what are the things we're gonna to look to change and maybe adjust to. But for us, I think because of the two games overtime and the amount of minutes some of our guys have logged, you try to give them maybe a little bit more rest on the front end before the game. Every good? Together on three, one, two, three. Together. Together. Here's Williams, pulls up over Brunson. Oh. Nice footwork by Williams against Julius Randle. Caruso flashes, good extra pass for Williams three. Bang, bang, bang. He's got seven of the Bulls nine. I thought we played well offensively in terms of the shooting percentages and how we were playing. We shot it well from three. Here it is, Kobe White. Oh, bang, bang, bang. Nice close to the corner for the Bulls. 
You know, we didn't get to the free throw line like we normally do it or at the rate that we do. Oh, DeRozan right through the middle of two defenders. The big guys, Robinson. Oh. I just thought the turnovers, the rebounding, and the free throw line, our spirit resolve needs to be better. Team's just not going to keep letting us play well. We got to understand that team's going to pick it up as well. Each quarter, each possession going to be harder. And Barrett spins his way to the rim. You got to take it day by day. You know, we got to be better. We know that. Confidence in myself and my teammates because we put the work in. I didn't feel great when we won eight games in a row last year. And I certainly don't feel great with where we're at now. I don't think as a coach you ever feel great. It's just about can you keep helping your group get better and improve. It's got to be us together. I mean, it's the only way that we've got to be able to do it. We just got to compete and, you know, you never lose hope. No matter how hard and difficult a situation may seem or be, you can't never lose hope. And number four. Derrick Rose, man. It's Derrick Rose. Like he, he, he ought to get that respect, that love, that admiration, everything he did for the city, being from the city, that just show you the respect and the love that our fans have for him and what he meant to the city. So, you know, it's, it was, you know, it's great to see that. What's up, Bulls Nation? Thanks for watching. For more, click here.